Hey guys, this is Andrew from Dividend Growth Masters. And today I want to go over stock screening for OTC companies, micro caps, and small cap companies. And this is actually one of my favorite stock screeners to use to screen for um, stocks that are traded over the counter or micro cap stocks. So the stock screener that we're going to use is the OTC Markets stock screener. So OTC Markets is actually the largest exchange for trading over the counter, um, over the counter stocks in the U.S. and they they are themselves a over the counter company. So if a company is not listed on Nasdaq or the New York Stock Exchange (NYSE) in the U.S., then they're probably going to be um, they're probably going to be trading on this exchange. So if you go to the websites otcmarkets.com and you go to the stock screener. This is the stock screen that we're going to use. So as of right now, they have about 17,136 securities or companies um, trading on the exchange. So this is what the stock screener looks like. It has a bunch on the left side here. It has a bunch of um, a bunch of metrics that you can screen by, and then the output here. You can also download the data, which is actually really nice. Um, there's some stock screeners where they don't actually allow you to download the data, but you can download all this information onto an Excel spreadsheet, which is actually super, super useful. So let's go through all the metrics that you can screen by and what I typically like to do when I'm screening for micro caps or OTC stocks. So the first one that you might want to screen by is the markets. So these are the various markets um, on the stock on the OTC market stock exchange. So you have OTCQX, which is basically um, the securities that are, that are held to the highest standard of reporting. Um, you have OTCQB, um, Pink Expert, and the gray market. So if you want to focus on the securities that have the highest level of um, reporting. And disclosure, you would you would want to search by OTCQX or OTCQB as well. But if you um, want to be a little bit more adventurous, you can search on the pink the pink sheets or the gray market as well. The next thing that you may want to screen by is the security types. So the OTC markets is not only limited to common stock. You have ETFs, you have funds, you have preferred stocks. Um, all sorts of other stuff. You have warrants as well. So if you want to focus just on common stocks, then that's what you want to select. Um, typically, the only one that I don't select is ADRs. Okay, the next thing that you may want to screen by is the country. So there are tons of different countries where um, these OTC companies are based on. So obviously, the two largest are US and Canada. But you can also have companies that are from Argentina, Australia, um, China, Colombia, all sorts of places. So these are the, all the countries where you can select. And typically, I only like to do U.S. and Canada, maybe sometimes Australia or U.K. But these are the two markets that I'm most familiar with, and they generally have the best level of disclosure as well. So one thing that's really cool about the OTC um, stock screener is you can also screen by industry, and they go really in-depth into industry. Um, you have pretty much all sorts of things here. Insurance, you have life insurance, you have management services, marine cargo handling, all sorts of stuff. So these are, a lot of these industries that they have here are super, super specific, but Sometimes that's actually helpful if you're looking for something super specific. Um, oftentimes I'm not, so I usually don't really check any boxes here. But if you're looking for something specific, this is the definitely where you want to narrow your search. Now, the next thing that they have here is growth metrics. So you have the stock price, you have price change. So one thing that one thing that you can do here is you can change, um, you can screen based on price change. So if you only want stocks that are down, let's say 20% within the last 52 weeks, last day, 
last four weeks, last 13 weeks, whatever, then you can do that. So that way you can kind of screen for stocks that are beaten down. Volume is also an important metric that you may want to screen by, especially for OTC stocks or um, micro caps. And the reason is sometimes there are micro caps where the stock doesn't really trade that frequently. Um, the, in fact, there are actually a significant amount of stocks on the exchange where they don't trade for weeks or even months on end. So having a volume metric, um, having a volume filter can be useful to screening out those ones because even if it's a good opportunity, if there's no volume, uh, it, it's going to be very hard for you to accumulate shares. And finally, the last thing that I'm you may want to screen by is dividend payer. So if the if the stock pays dividends, then you can screen by that too. Now I want to go over one last thing when it comes to screening for OTC companies. Um, the one metric that I actually like to use a lot is the price. So this is the price of the security of the common stock. Um, and the reason why I like using this one is I like to typically screen for OTC companies that are trading for a very high short price. Um, so a lot of OTC companies, they have a bad reputation for being called penny stocks because their stocks are trading for pennies, you know, one cent or less, maybe even, you know, half a cent. And the reason why I like to screen for by stock price is you typically have very high quality, not all the time, but I've come across some where they have very high quality management teams. Um, the stock price goes up, but they never do a stock split. That's why, you know, the, the stock price is so high, kind of like a Brookshire Hathaway kind of a thing. So screening by the stock price is actually surprisingly a good filter when you're screening for OTC companies. And it depends on how, how high you want to go. Typically, I like to set for at least 100, but sometimes if I want to be a little bit more, um, raise the bar a little bit, I'll set the minimum share price for $1,000. Now, as you can see here, a lot of them are actually banks. Um, so if you want to screen, if you don't want to screen for banks, you can change it um, based on the industry. So you can you can select banks. You can, um, I'm sorry, you can check off banks so you don't screen for them. But as you can see here, based on the $1,000 minimum stock price, there are 40 securities trading on the OTC markets. And after you screen for them, you can go through, since you only have 40, you can kind of go in depth into each of these as opposed to if there, you know, there were three, 400 stocks that came through your screener. So this example, um, you can look at, let's say, Litcorp, which is trading at a surprisingly $19,250 per share. Now that's a pretty, pretty high share price. So anyways, that's basically an overview of the OTC market stock screener. This is a really great stock screener if you're looking to invest and do some more research in microcaps and OTC traded companies.